So I've got my bridge right here. I've got the deck right here. Right here, I've got my three vertical members right here. So now let's work on these diagonal ones right here. So I can take my ruler, I can put it up here, and I can measure that. That's like three and like seven eighths ish. Uh, I can try to get close. So three and seven eighths would be like 3.875. Um, but we know that this right here is 25. We know that that right there is 30, so why don't we just connect a line right there? So that, that's easy to do in SketchUp. So here in SketchUp, uh, a couple ways to do this. Um, some easy ways, some not so easy ways. So let's take a look at our drawing right here. All right. So first thing is I'm going to, I want to connect a line from this corner down to this corner, or this corner up to that corner. Uh, I've got it grouped, which is good because that way it keeps it all as kind of one piece. If you ever need to edit a group, if you double click on it, you'll see everything else grays out and then it just highlights that one piece. So that one piece can be edited. I can make changes to it if I wanted to. And then you hit escape to go back. If you ever want to ungroup something, so most programs call it ungroup. For some reason in SketchUp, if I right click, they call it explode. So the explode button is the ungroup button in SketchUp. So now it's ungrouped, right click, group again. Uh, now is also a great time to hit the save button because SketchUp does not always automatically save. Just hit that save button every once in a while just to make sure it's saving. So I just clicked on it. Now it says it's saving. It's going to be saved to my Google Drive. Good. That way if I lose it, I'm set. All right, so let's connect down here to up here. Uh, one thing I just noticed is my deck right here is above the road. If I wanted to be picky, I can move this down here for this, this assignment. You know, that's fine. But if I wanted to move that down, let's move this down here. So if I just move this one piece down, so remember I click on the corner because I want to move it accurately. I want to move this corner down to there. So click on it and move it down. You'll notice my other point, my other part did not move with it. See if my vertical member over there didn't move. So now I've got a little gap. That's no good. Gap right there. So let's undo and let's move everything down. So if I hit Control A to select everything, because this part is locked, because it's red, whenever I move, it's just going to be what's highlighted in blue. So that's good. So select everything, Control A, move. Click on your corner, bring it down, click on that. Now everything should be good. It's nice and flat. Looks better. All right, now let us connect a line from here to there. So there's a couple ways to go about doing this. One is I can try to use this line tool. When you use the line tool, sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't work well. Um, so if I click on this point and I come up here to click this point, um, yeah, so that kind of works, but then I need to come down here at some point to make it a full shape because that's just a line. A line is one dimensional. I need to make it two dimensional and then make it three dimensional. So if I make this shape like this, just use the line to highlight stuff around there. So that works, but it's not very accurate. You know, I can see right here it's wider here than it is here. Um, I could go and I could try to move certain points um, just to get it a little bit more accurate. But there's better ways. Um, another problem when you're using the line tool is sometimes it'll, like if I connect this corner and I come up here, but I accidentally click on that corner, and then you can see where issues might arise, right? So the line tool is okay sometimes, other times it can be a big pain. So what we're actually gonna use is a rectangle tool, but we're gonna use what's called the rotated rectangle. So on SketchUp, 
So we want to do this line right here. Uh, actually, let me do this. Bear with me one second. Right, so we want to do this line right here. So we're going to use a rotated rectangle. If I come over here to sketch up, you've got your rectangle button. Next to rectangle is a rotated rectangle. So when I want to use a rotated rectangle, on SketchUp, if you don't know how to use a tool, if you click on it, down here at the bottom, it's going to tell you what to do, how to use it. So for example, if I want to make a circle, if I click the circle, it says select center point. Well, I'm going to select the center point. Select point on edge. Select point on edge. There you go. So to use a rotated rectangle, it says select first corner. I want my first corner to be right here. Now if I do it at this blue, it's going to be flat on the ground. That's not what I want. I want it upright. So I want to make sure I get that green circle. Uh, I don't want the black one, I don't want the blue one, I don't want the red one. So just to make sure on my keyboard I'm going to hit left to make sure I get that green axis. I'm going to select that first corner, click on it. It says now select second corner or enter values. And if I look in the bottom right it says my length and my angle. Again, I can go to my drawing and I can try to figure out exactly what it's going to be. And, you know, I can pull out my protractor. That's probably a 30 degree angle right there. That's probably 3 and 7 eighths, which would be 38 point whatever. But if I just let the computer do it for me, that way I don't have to worry about, you know, maybe I clicked on this corner versus that corner versus the midpoint and everything all lining up. So I can see right there, when I click on that second point, it's 38 feet 7 and 7 eighths inches. It is 129.1 degrees. I could have figured that out with math, but the computer is great at math, so let the computer do it for me. Sometimes. Sometimes you need to do math. But I'm going to click on that second point and see what it says. Now it says select third corner or enter value. All right. Now I notice... If I did this, and I hit OK, well, I know I need it to be 1 and 3 inches, 1 foot 3 inches, so I can do 1, that's an hour, 1 foot 3 inches, and I hit Enter. Now, what happened here? This did not work correctly, because if I look, saving it's doing something I broke it I broke it all right I think I fixed it there we go so when I made that rectangle you can see it's at this weird angle right here that's not what I want because it did something weird so I'm gonna undo I'm gonna try this again I'm gonna hit my rotated rectangle so again SketchUp does weird things sometimes I'm going to hit left to make sure I'm on that green. I'm going to select my first corner because it tells me to select first corner. I'm going to select my second corner. I'm going to move my mouse. So why does it want me to do weird stuff there? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out why it's doing it at a weird angle right there. Let's try it again. There we go. So it did it. I'm just trying to figure out why it didn't do it last time. So click the first corner, click the second corner, and then, oh, here we go, because it wants my angle. Oh, OK, because now it's moving in 3D. So I can put in my width and I can put in my angle. Okay, so I want my width to be one foot and three inches or one and a quarter feet, 1.25 feet. 
comma, if I want my angle changed, which I don't, so I'm going to put zero degrees. All right, there we go. That looks better. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. so that looks good. Now I'm going to use the push pull to pull it out in three dimensions. So I'm going to pull this out 1.25 feet. Notice I pressed 1.25 and it went 1.25 inches, not feet. That's why you always got to specify the unit. I tried taking a shortcut and it ended up not working. There we go. So that is that little diagonal member right there. I can bring it out this way. Um, what I kind of mentioned before a little bit is you can put it in 1.25 feet. You can make it go inward that way and it overlaps a little bit. Um, for this assignment, again, I don't, I'm not picky. Um, if it overlaps like that, that's fine. If you want to get it more realistic, you can have it come outward. So let's make it come outward. 1.25 feet. Boom. Okay, so I've got that one. Now looking at my drawing, I know that that one right there it's going to be the same as that one, and if I flip it, it's going to be the same as that one and that one, All right? Because symmetry. So let's save this one as a group. You can save it as a component, or you can save it as a group. Um, but let's double click on it. Let's triple click on it, so that whole thing is highlighted just by itself. Let's right click and let's make it a group. Again, you can make a component if you're comfortable with components. And then let's take that piece and let's copy it over to right here. So I can hit Control C, Control V, or I can do that fancy little uh, shortcut where I hit my Move button. And I do, do, let's hit the Control button on the keyboard. And let's bring this over. Bring it over 25 feet. So now when I bring it directly over, so again what I did is I hit the move tool, hit control to make it a copy, click on the corner and bring it over. If I have that guide still, that's nice and helpful, but remember I want to bring it straight over. I don't want to bring it over at a weird angle. So I'm going to hit left on my keyboard and that brings it front and back and press up, that brings it up. I won't, so let's hit right. So now it's constrained to that red axis. That's what I want. I can bring it over here if I still have that component. But I know on my drawing, I know it is 25 feet. So I'm just going to type in 25 feet and hit enter. And look at that. It lines up right where I want it right there. So when I look at that, it should be good. Yep, I see that, that corner lines up. That corner lines up. All right. Now, this one and this one, so I want to take both of these, that one and that one, and I want to copy those and I want to flip them. There's a couple ways you can do that. One is I could use that rotate tool again. So if I want to select both of them, if I hold shift on my keyboard, if I click on it and hit shift, and then click on the second one, that'll select both pieces. One is I can rotate that, so I can use the rotate tool. I can use that shortcut where I hit control on my keyboard, makes it a little plus. I wanna find that blue axis. I want to click once, click twice, move 180 degrees, and then move that, so I'm gonna press M on my keyboard for move or I can go to the move tool and I can move from this corner to line that up with that corner. So that's one way to do it and that gives me those pieces right there. So that's one way is I can take it and I can rotate it. And the other one I'm going to show you, I'm going to undo, undo, where I'm going to click this piece, click this piece and I'm going to flip it. So this is kind of like mirroring 
in other programs so I can right click it and you have a thing that says flip along. Now I can flip it along the red direction, the green direction, or the blue direction. I've been using SketchUp for, I don't know, decades or so now and I never remember which one it is so I just click on one of them and I said hey I got it right the first time. But if you don't get it right the first time, like if you hit flip along green and it flipped the other way so it looks the same, I don't want that. Flip along, if it flipped along blue it's going to flip it. Well this one looks okay because it's a weird 45 degree angle so it looks good. But if you flip it and it's the wrong direction, just hit undo, flip it on a different direction. direction. All right. And then I can take that and I can just move that wherever I need that to go. Now you'll notice I lost my first one, so I'm going to undo, I can control C, control V, whatever I need to do. Um, so for this instance, it was easier to rotate, but let's try this again. Right click, flip along, red. There we go. So I flip it along red. So when I'm doing SketchUp, you see, you see I just did a lot of control Z's, control C's and stuff right there. Like when I'm doing SketchUp, usually my right hand is on my mouse and my left hand is just right here. So like I can hit shift really easily. I can hit control C, control V, control Z. So usually my hands are just kind of like this pretty much the whole time. Just a little, little tip for you there. So, do, 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 let's, let's put these back over there. However you want to do it with the flip along or with the rotate, it doesn't really matter. As long as you can make a copy of these, you put them over there. So let's hit the rotate button. Q. So you notice I didn't click on the middle there. Now my stuff's doing weird stuff. I'm going to move it 180 degrees. Hit enter. Now I've rotated it. It's way out there. That's not what I want, but I can easily just move that. Bring it back here. I'll move that corner to there. All right. One last thing I need to make is the top of my bridge right here. So let's just make a rectangle right across the top right here to connect our bridge. Uh, let's see, let's just take a rectangle. Let's take a rectangle right here. And I'm just going to go from this corner right here to this corner right here. So that corner, to that corner, I'm going to come up 1.25 feet, oh. see again, undo, undo, okay, so here we go. So like my bottom there, I've got 51 feet, 3 inches, comma, 1 foot, 4 and 3 sixteenths inches. So I want to keep that 51 feet, 3 inches because that's what the computer measured for me. If I wanted to then move it up, I can type in 51 feet, 3 inches, comma, 1 foot, 3 inches. All right, so that gives me that rectangle that I want. Or, if I want to tell the computer I want to keep that 51 and 3 foot right there, this is a weird shortcut. It may make sense to you, it may not. If I want to keep that 51 foot 3 inches, I don't have to retype it. I can just pretend I typed it and I can just hit comma. So I'm just going to type in comma 1 foot three inches and hit enter. So the computer knew to keep that there and then I'm going to push it up one foot 
three inches. All right, so there is the side of my bridge right there. Now these parts aren't necessarily all aligned. You know, if I wanted to pull this out so it was lined up right there, you can do that. Um, I see it's overlapping a little bit right here. That's fine. If I wanted to fix that, there's a couple of things I can do. But for, for us, for right now, this looks pretty good. I'll get into more detailed stuff in a second here. I won't make that go away. But I've got one side. Let's select this whole thing and put my mouse around it all. Select all these pieces here, and I want to copy it over to that other side. So let us, uh, let's, you can use the move button or you can use the rotate button. Let's use the rotate. I'm going to hit Q. I'm going to hit Control on my keyboard to make a copy. I'm going to select the middle point. I'm going to move my mouse, and I'm going to rotate it. I can try to get here. I can just type in 180, hit Enter. Then I can use my move button and I can move this over here. I can line up this corner to that corner there. So there you go. I've got a truss bridge. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I can fix that top if I want to. There's a lot of things I can do on here. Oh, yep, that top's a little bit goofy right now. But that looks a lot better than what we started with. So let's make it look a little bit better. Let us hit my little display button right here. Let's delete all these guys, or I can just uncheck it. Let's turn off my axes just so I want to make it look good. And those hidden objects, let's put all those back here. And then let's just select everything, right click, unhide. So now, look at that, we got a bridge. So that bridge looks good. Now, let's make it look better.